Fine. And you? Very well. Very well. Good to see you. Yes. Good to see you again. Yes. And hello, Nikita. How are you? Hello. I'm very well. Thank you. How are you? Very well. Thank you for asking. Um, how was your weekend, guys? <coughs> Marvel? I don't know. Nothing special. But last weekend was very exciting because I committed my first parachute jumping. Really? Oh, yeah. it must have been exciting. Uh huh. That was your first time? Yes, <laughs> exactly. You said uh, the last time we spoke, I think you mentioned something about um, wanting to climb a mountain somewhere. Right? Yes. I'm have going to visit Nepal um, soon. Oh, you haven't traveled yet, I see. In order to conquer the Everest. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Mount Everest. Yeah. Um, are you going to do that by yourself or with a companion? Mm. Actually, it's a joke because <clears throat> to Everest. Everest it's only for professionals, and yeah. I'm going to conquer, you know, mountain foot <laughs> of Everest, like 300 meters, something like this. Yes. Yeah, with I'm going to visit Nepal with a group, mm -hmm. but I don't know anybody from this group. It, it will be a surprise for you. Okay, I see. I thought you were serious when you said you wanted to, um, uh, you know, conquer Mount Everest. I know you need to be a professional, but I thought you will just be at the surroundings of that area. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's a first step. Mm, it's a first step, of course. You gotta yeah. start somewhere. Um, all right, let's welcome the other students. Hello, everyone else. Uh, Xenia, good morning. Uh, Lydia, good morning. And Stas, good morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you all? Is everyone well? Yeah. Yeah. Good. How was your weekend? What did you get up to? <laughs> Very late. <laughs> ah, uh, up to or oh, wake up? Yeah. What did, you, what did you get up to? What did you do? Um, I I read book and uh, I went shopping and I spent spent my time with my family. Very nice. Very nice. So no one did anything extreme like um, like Pavel, like parachuting. No, <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. Well, actually, I, Pavel did it a week ago, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to jump uh, out of a plane with a parachute, of course. But it takes a lot of guts, a lot of um, bravery to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, Nikita, what did you get up to? Did you have a quiet weekend as well, or did you do something? Nothing special. I just uh, hanging out with my friends. Uh, we went to cinema, mm -hmm. and that's all. All right, very good. What did you watch? Cinema. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it will be in English. Maybe gaming imitation. I don't know. Oh right, this is that yeah. uh, World War Two yes. space yeah. movie, yeah. About English me. actor. Oh yeah, I heard that was a really good movie. It's got high ratings. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting. Mm. All right. And uh, stars. How was your weekend? Uh, yeah, it was still pretty quiet. I w at Saturday I walked 
It's, and Sunday I will watch cinema with your fun. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I'm going to see is the game, imitation game. Uh -huh. oh, what did you watch now? Uh, Livia Fan. We oh. talked about it. Oh, right. I remember. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, it's a, the, the Russian movie. Yeah. And it's got high ratings as well. Okay. Yeah. No. I didn't like it. <laughs> didn't like it? Yeah, I love Zvegantsev, but this is too much. It's very depressive, and uh, I don't believe it in Russia, where it's such a situation. It's uh, yes, there is some 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 points. It's true, but uh, altogether, it's uh, I don't see I don't see the u usefulness of this. It's very depressive. It's not about Russian life, unfortunately. Was it like a, a based, based yeah. on a true story or something? Uh, not based on the true story. It's based on the true atmosphere <laughs> in Russia. But it's uh, very, very black. It's uh, we have maybe maybe fifty percent of this situation. Not for not not one hundred percent like in in this film. So it was exaggerated a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't understand what what's the point of this film, why it's to to do this because mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, it's close to the reality, but it's over over. How you said? Uh, exaggerated. Yeah. So it's very good uh, work. It's uh, good uh, actors game. It's good operators. Uh, uh, work director, but the point I didn't understand, so I didn't didn't like it. Uh, shame. Has anyone else seen this movie? Any of the other students? Yes, Why? I've seen. <coughs> I've seen it already, and uh, I agree with Stas. I didn't like it because I couldn't understand what the point. Uh, I mean, um, the end of the movie, and I still don't know what what's the point. <laughs> what wants? What the author wants to say? Mm. The author said that uh, uh, for statement, it's very very comfortable to be to have religious uh, people because. Uh, uh, states could do very horror things with the people, with the humans. But the religion said you you must uh, you must just uh, just nothing to do. On, only smirenia. I don't know how it would be in English. So that's that's why I think it's uh, humility. Mm -hmm. It's the choice. Humility or calmness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. We we fortunately in Russia not so bad situation with yes, the government. <laughs> Maybe also want to show you that not so bad in <laughs> in Russia and everything we recognize by com comparison. It's Maybe. it's what what could could happen with us with us. No, I don't think so. Uh, unfortunately, it's very religious and it's very un unreal. Mm. I, uh, unfortunately, I I haven't seen this and I can don't, judge. Don't don't waste your time. Okay, <laughs> thank <laughs> you for <laughs> the advice. Oh, that's good. There you go. In case you, uh, Lydia, you were um, you know planning to watch it sometime soon, <laughs> have some good no, uh, I, I like cr critical advice. Yes, but I don't like uh, gloom, gloom uh, plots, and uh, when after films I feel myself sad and yeah, uh, after the and, uh, and uh, uh, under depression. You will, oh, I, I don't you have like. only one feel feeling. You want to kill yourself after this. <laughs> <movie>. <laughs> yeah. No, oh no. <laughs> no. Or maybe I, start doing something after this film to yeah. improve your future. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What? what? 
What kind of? The Xenia? Just move to another country, for example. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe that's what they're trying to do. <laughs> Maybe that was the plot of the movie. Oh, then. Mission. Yeah, Who knows? Man. Yeah, I think we all prefer happy endings. <laughs> Rather than uh, you know sad and depressing, yeah, I never like movies that end in, in a mm. very depressing way. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to enjoy it. Why? Why choose? Why choose to end a movie in a negative way? You know, why do you want your audience to feel bad? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a it's an art, I presume. Um, so this. Directors and producers, they have a, a mind of their own to the average people. Okay, let's get started, shall we? No introductions. We had a little chat. It's Monday morning. Uh, we'd like to, you know, find out what everyone did, share their stories, get uh, us warmed up with conversation. <clears throat> and now, um, communication, something very important. Uh, I believe in our life. Um, we're going to talk about a famous individual, Alexander Graham Bell. He invented the telephone, in case you didn't know. But it's wrong point. At really? All. Yes. It was some it Italian guy, and uh, this man, Bell, just stolen from him. Oh. It's proved, yes, by really? yes. By historians. By Congress of USA. Oh wow! Did you do your research? I see. Yes. <laughs> good, good. That's good. Well, I'm glad you you did that and uh, you're telling us because I didn't know. I just went according to this, you know, article. Okay, but do we know when the telephone was invented? What year? It's controversial <laughs> now. <Yes. laughs> after, after Xenia said, after she said, I can answer <laughs> on this question. Okay, please. Because I see the article. Uh, the some Italian guy who named was Antonio Miucci was uh, invent this uh, thing in 1871, but uh, Bell in invented it in 1876. Mm, okay, good. Thank you. Um, all right, how many phones do you have in your house? Only one. <laughs> Just one? Yes. Not more than one. I mean, a uh, space as how say it? It's like, uh, not cell phone. Mm -hmm. Just yes. uh, just uh, usual old fashioned. <laughs> yeah, telephone. Yes, yeah, telephone. I think it's common to have just one, isn't it? Actually, nowadays some um, some households don't even have a telephone. They just use mobiles. Yes, yes. I don't yeah. have. Like like we. Do. Yeah, is that common with you? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, and why is that? Because it's useless nowadays. What's the point? <laughs> and it's very, I think, expensive to pay nowadays. True, true. Yeah, yeah I it's think... It's not comfortable to get your number. <laughs> because uh, on, f on cell phone it's easier than on the... Maybe it's payment for tradition when we... <laughs> When we have this uh, old-fashioned uh, telephone, what? And you can text him with <laughs> with a normal telephone. Ah, you can't uh, send yeah. a text. <laughs> yeah, you can't use the internet with it for sure. Uh -huh. yeah. And and you also must pay for uh, for recognizing a number if you want to. I mean, in fa fashion telephone, and mm -hmm. you pay a company for recognizing your number. Uh, number who uh, called you? Who called? Calls you. People who calls you? And really? uh, yes, uh, and cell phone you needn't to pay for it. <laughs> it's un it's inconvenience for telephone. 
Yes, yes. Of telephone. Mm -hmm. it be, it's becoming an inconvenience, isn't it, to have a home phone? Mm -hmm. um, it depends. I mean, some some people, you know, they have a a home phone which is actually like a printer and a fax machine and everything in one. People who like to, or who might have a small business, a small office, but the average household doesn't really use it much. But I, I I think it's uh, people afraid of um, not it's not really it's ma magnific magne magnetic 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 uh, wave maybe uh, of cell phones but I don't know the reason but uh, a telephone hasn't this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. Good point. Maybe they think about their health. If they uh, spent a lot, spent a lot of time by speaking with somebody. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, cell phones actually, I think we can all agree that are uh, definitely taking over, and home phones are slowly becoming um, useless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you think that um, you know people used to send long distance messages? Before the invention of telephones, faxes, and email, telegraph. Ah, good telegraph. Yes. Uh, or they they could just shout from <laughs> from the mountain. Oh right. Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, mm, I don't know fire fire signals. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, this is way back. This is going even further. In the past, post just letter. Yeah, they had messengers, didn't they? Pigeons, People. pigeons. Very good. Owls. Yeah, owls. Uh, owls. Yes. Good. Yeah, they had special birds uh, that could do the job of a postman or an or you know electronic or digital way that we have today. Mm. Okay. Uh, they, had, yeah. they had special men who who ran marathon, <laughs> you know, like Ganets. Courier. Ah, uh, courier. Yeah. Uh -huh. that is, yeah. Yes, that's right. Hmm. Yeah. So it, it, we can't imagine uh, sending. Information nowadays without the internet or without the phone or fax, you know. But only about a hundred years ago, that was a different story, or well, just over a hundred years ago. So, if you invent something, how can you protect your invention so that other people cannot steal your idea, like this um, Graham Bell did from the Italian guy? <laughs> <laughs> patent, patent. Ah, very good. Patents. Patents. Yeah. Yeah, you should have a patent for your idea. Yeah, okay, we're going to have a look at the text and see what happened and what's the story about Alexander Graham Bell. Okay, so Xenia, please start reading for us. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Bell was born in Edinburgh, Scotland on March 3, 1847. Both his father and his grandfather were experts on how people speak. After finishing university, Bell worked with his father. He taught deaf people how to speak and studied the sounds people make when they talk. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's keep going. Well read. Alicia. In 1870, Bell and his family moved in Brentford, Ontario. Ontario. In 1871, he moved to Boston to teach at the first ever school for the deaf. Um, in 1873, he became a professor for, at Boston University. There, he taught deaf people and encouraged others uh, to become teachers of the deaf. Very good. Do we know what deaf means? Yes, people who can't hear. Very good. 
<clears throat> okay, thank you, Lydia. Um, next paragraph, Nikita. Mm, from 1873 to 1876, Bell developed several devices for sending sound, sounds through electric wires. One of these was an early form of the telephone. Bell thought up the idea for the telephone and Thomas Watson built it. On June 2, 1875, Bell and Watson sent and received a musical note. Very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, Bell and Watson. Okay. Stas? On March 7, 1876, Bell was granted a patent for the telephone. The first sentence, Watson, come here, I want you, was sent three days later. Bell showed his new invention at the scientific convention in May 1876 and in, at the Philadelphia Centennial Ex Exposition in June. It caused great excitement. In October 1876, Bell talked to Watson on the device and Watson answered him. Very good. All right, thank you. Okay, um, Pavel? In 1877, a telephone was put into a private home. A long-distance conversation was carried over telegraph wires, and the Bell Telephone Company was formed. Bell also demonstrated the telephone in England and France. In 1884, Bell Telephone built the first long-distance line. Soon others were built and put into service. Very good, thank you. Okay, just a bit more Xenia. For many years, as the people said, the idea for a telephone was theirs. But the Count and many scientists and researchers supported Bell's work. His invention led to the invention of many other types of, of communication devices. Bell also invented the gramophone record player and experimented in many other areas, including ship breeding and aviation. He died in 1922. Very good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, any questions about the vocabulary? All understood? Okay, let's look at that comprehension task on the right. So as always, here we have five statements, and I want you to figure out and tell me whether they're true or false. All right, so Xenia, what's the first one? I'm sorry, I'm muted. Uh, Alexander Graham Bell was born in Canada. Yes, I think it's true. No, and it's wrong. No, in Canada. It's other country. In Edinburgh. In ah, in Scotland. Scotland. Yes, it's my favorite country. Yeah, <laughs> really? I mean, mm. Yes. Why is Scotland your favorite? I in childhood I saw very many programs about Scotland and I don't know but in my childhood mind it's my favorite country nowadays. That's nice. Have you traveled to Scotland before? No, my husband don't want to go in. I think he think that it's very boring and cloudy country as England and he don't want to travel. <laughs> you should see it in summer. In summer, it's quite nice. I mean, Maybe, they, have, yes. they do I have sunshine. It, I think it's very green and natural country. Yes, it is. It's quite nice. A lot of people like Scotland. Uh, yes, and men in Scott. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know about the accent, though. <laughs> A lot of people <laughs> like the accent because it's quite, quite heavy. Yeah, quite difficult to understand. Um, okay, good. So that's false. He was born in Scotland. Uh, Lydia, second one. Alexander Graham Bell 
uh, was deaf. No, it's fa it it fa falls because he is he wasn't deaf. He uh, invaded uh, equipment for deaf people, and oh. he's uh, research how how to explain them something. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yes. So he was helping deaf people, but he wasn't deaf himself, was he? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like here. They so told, he taught he taught deaf people who to speak, how to speak and study. The, the right. first part. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Uh, thank you. Number three. Nikita. Mm, Thomas Watson came up with the idea for the telephone. Uh, it's false because uh, well. Uh, came up with the idea and uh, Thomas Watson uh, built it. Very good, yeah. So they collaborated together, but according to this article, um, yes, uh, Xenia, according to this article, <laughs> um, yeah, Bell was the one who had the idea. Okay, um, four stars. I don't remember, but uh, it's true. <laughs> I really? No, I think oh, it's one eight. Oh yeah, it's uh, invented was in this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in eighteen seventy-six. It's false. Yeah. <coughs> Thank yes. you. Hmm. Well, they were ready to jump on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the year later. 77, it was put into a private home. Okay, and finally, Pavel, number five. Mm, Alexander Graham Bell invented the gramophone record player. Yeah. It's true. Yes, this is the only true one. Every, everything else was false. Yeah, and many other things. He was, um, where is it? Where is the gramophone? The last part. It was towards the end, wasn't it? Let's see it. Oh, here it is, yeah. He also invented the, the gramophone record player. Yeah. And experimented in many other areas, including sheep breeding, believe it or not, and aviation. That was what, is, what was his invention in sheep breeding? I don't think it was an invention, but he just experimented. You know, he was experimenting in sheep breeding. Mm -hmm. Whether he invented something, I don't know. Ksenia, do you know? Um, <laughs> I, know I know you've read up about this. Did, you, did they say anything else about him? Yes, he in invented about seven something things, but oh. I don't remember what is it. Oh, very so, good. So, yes. But maybe he invented and maybe he is not. We don't know today. Yeah, that's true. We can't be sure 100%. Mm -hmm. yes. Only what um, we find. Okay. Well done. Let's move on to the next page. All right. Eight uh, further questions. Now let's see if we can answer these. Giving me full answers. Or complete sentences. Uh, Xenia, the first one. What did Alexander Graham Bell's father and grandfather know a lot about? Uh, these two men, men were experts on how people speak. So they taught the people how to speak. Oh, very good. Yes. So Bell's father and grandfather knew a lot about how people speak. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Second one. Lydia? What did, <clears throat> what did Alexander Graham Bell do when he finished university? I don't remember. <laughs> he was got to do with deaf. Oh, with deaf? Uh, he he, yeah. he walked with uh, deaf people, maybe? No. 
when uh, when text has a lot of um, uh, d data, I mean uh, years, and I do I don't uh, you lose focus. <clears throat> yes, yes. That's okay, no problem. All right, but yeah, he he. He uh, worked with deaf people. Uh, actually, he worked with his father uh, to teach um, mm -hmm. deaf people, and you know he encouraged others to become teachers of the deaf. Okay, what about number three, Nikita? Where was the first school for the deaf? Uh, maybe in Canada. No. no, in USA. In Boston, no? Ah, very good. Yes. The first school for the deaf was located in Boston. Very good. Number four. Stars? Uh, what did Bell do between 1873 and 1876? Unfortunately, I don't remember. Maybe taught deaf deaf uh, students or trying to invent the telephone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the second one is closer. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, does anyone remember the exact answer? He was working with wires. Ah, yes. Electric wires. Electric wires. Yeah, so between 1873 and 1876, Bell developed several devices for sending sounds through electric wires, one of which was an early form of the phone, or telephone. And one, one message was a melody. Oh, yes, music sound, yes, very good. All right, question five, Pavel. <coughs> What was Bell's first sentence on the telephone? Unfortunately, I don't remember exactly, but maybe it was, Watson, come here, I need you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I want yeah. you. I, yeah, I want you. Yeah, but it's a little <laughs> sexual. You. Very good. <laughs> you remember that, very good. Like telephone sex. <laughs> 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 yes, that's where, it, <laughs> where it's led us, isn't it? People, uh, people they take advantage of the technology to make all sorts of ways to make money. Mm. Six. Senia. Uh, what was the reaction to Bell's invention in 1876 Science Convention and the Philadelphia Centennial Exposition? Centennial. Uh, centennial exposition. I think it uh, it uh, re it was reaction with interest for his invention, and it was, it was excitement. No. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah, there was great interest. Obviously, yeah, that's good, and it caused great excitement. Yeah, at at, uh, at both of these, uh, you know, at the science convention and uh, the Philly Centennial ex Exposition. Yeah, so it caused great uh, excitement. All right, seven, Lydia. When was the Bell Telephone Company formed? I think we haven't information about it. it's not <coughs> mentioned. It isn't mentioned. Who cares? <laughs> no, it was mentioned. And one year after invention. Very good. That's mm -hmm. it. So the Bell Telephone Company was formed in 1877. Okay. And the last one? Nikita? In what other areas did Bell experiment? Uh, Bell experimented in such areas like uh, gramophone record player, uh, ship breeding, and aviation. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. That completes the questions. Now moving on to our vocab. Let's have a look. 13. I think you know probably most of them, but it should be fun matching them and making new sentences. So 
Stas, the first one. Invent, uh, uh, create, sync up, make something new. Yes. Uh, How would you make a sentence with invent? The sentence, uh, most people think that uh, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, but it's uh, untrue because it was Antonio Miucci. Ah, very good. Perfect sentence. Thank you. Uh, Pavel, expert. Your mic is muted, Pavel. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Person with special knowledge or skills. F. Mm -hmm. Very good. Give us a quick sentence, with expert. <coughs> Mm. He was a world-class expert at cycling. Very good. Who is that? Mm, I don't know. Armstrong? I, maybe I. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, yeah? Very good. Yeah. It's a good sentence. All right. Three. Xenia. Death. I am not able to hear. Thank you. Uh, Alexander's Bell father and grandfather uh, was in expert to teach a deaf people. Are uh, in expert with speaking, so they could to teach a deaf people to understand something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they were experts in in speaking. So later on, I think they try to help deaf people, yeah? Yes. They encourage um, you know, everyone to learn how to teach deaf people. Very good. Four, Lydia. Encourage. Mm, maybe support. No? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. To encourage means to support. <clears throat> I think people in our life should uh, should be encouraged it's uh, a job uh, um, uh, I, let's say it's not it's not it, noun no it's a verb yeah. uh, what's what's a noun what's the noun of encourage Does encouragement anyone? yes that's it yeah uh, should encourage uh, people who who in 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 red in, in Hot water and red, maybe. Uh, in trouble. Ah, okay. So people should encourage others to help to help we, people because we we don't uh, we mustn't to forget that we are people. Yeah. We are human. Yeah. Very good. Good. Yeah, that's a good sentence. Thank you. Okay, number five. Nikita? Device, uh, piece of equipment. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The telephone was the best uh, device to communicate people. To communicate with people. To communicate with people. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Good sentence. Okay, six. Stas? Uh, grant, give formally or officially. Very good. Did you know about this word, or did you have to look it up? Uh, I have to look it up because it's my <laughs> turn. That's good. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, grant. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, if you have some, uh, some. Uh, some good uh, invention mm -hmm. you will may to have a grant from statement yeah you will be given a grant mm -hmm. yeah yeah if it's a noun then it's um, like a sum of money that's given to you by you know the government or some organization so for example if you apply to do um, a university course, a degree, 
um, you can apply for a grant and the government can you know give you a portion or help you to pay that uh, that degree of course yeah. yeah if you are eligible or if you qualify for that grant yeah I understand in Russia we you have the same yeah? Have the same yeah. excellent all right very good um, Okay, but if it's a verb, then it's more like um, it can be kind of two meanings: uh, to give, um, to allow something. I grant you safety under, you know, in our <clears throat> nation or our country, for example. Okay, next one, Pavel. Patent. Official protection of one's invention. Very good. Uh, I don't know, maybe <clears throat> the first inventor of the telephone unfortunately didn't have patent. Ah, very good. He didn't have a patent. Yes. This is how um, Mr. Bell took over and patented this, this idea. Okay, <clears throat> eight, Xenia. Uh, convention. It's a conference match meeting. Yeah, very good. Uh, well, I uh, showed the telephone at the convention in Philadelphia. Yes, or maybe demonstrated. So oh, sure. demonstrated. Yeah, he demonstrated this um, idea. Yeah, very good. Okay, which is the next word? Lydia? Demonstrate. Mm, it's mm -hmm. show. Yeah. Yeah, to demonstrate means to show. How would you use demonstrate? Mm, demonstrate. About if Bell, uh, Bell demonstrated his invention uh, to um, scientists and other people. Yeah, to scientists and other people. Very good. Yeah, good sentence. Thank you. Nikita, 10. Researchers, people who study or look for information. Yes. Okay, quick sentence. Mm. The researchers uh, found found it out found out a new way to communicate. I don't know. Or oh, found out a new type of animal. Very good. Yeah, both are fine. Nice yeah. and simple. Thank you. Eleven. Stas. Experiment. Uh, what's the right pronunciation? Experiment. Experiment. Uh, it's D test or try something to see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, 1865, uh, Alexander Graham experiment uh, with uh, sending of messages, messages was successful. He said to his partner Thomas Watson, Come here, I want you on the phone, on the telephone. Very good. Yeah, so he experimented, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so we can use this um, word as a verb or as a noun. An experiment or to experiment. Mm -hmm. Both come from the same meaning. Okay, very good. Second last, the penultimate word, Pavel. Breeding. <clears throat> Raising animals for reproduction. Very good. Mm. I'd like to I'd like to breed my cat and dog. Yeah, very good. Especially if they are a very well known breed. Yeah. yeah. Like a um, if it's a cat. Like Persian, per Persian cat, for example, or if you have, I don't know, 
Russian blue. Yes, yes, very good. Oh, yeah. British, British blue. British short hair. There's another one called um, British short hair. Fold, uh, British folder, uh, folders. Uh, yeah, there are many others. I'm not too sure of all their names. I just know a few of them. And yeah. Okay, very good. I like it. Last one. Xenia. Aviation, flying. Yes. Uh, most of the famous aviation invent uh, from Bell was a uh, aeroplane silver, silver dot. I just saw it. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yes, very good. We're learning a lot, aren't we? Excellent. Good sentence. Thank you, Xenia. Mm -hmm. Now, we've almost come to the end, so I think we can do this last exercise. All right, so let's have a look at these five sentences and see if we can use our vocabulary to fill the gaps. Um, Lydia, first one. Many people communicate with sign language. Mm. Many invasion. Mm. No. Many deaf people. Ah. ah, yes. Many deaf people communicate through sign language. Yeah. Ba body, body language. <laughs> yeah, sign language, body language, facial expressions, everything is kind of included, isn't it? They mm -hmm. use their eyes, basically, yeah, to understand the signs. All right, thank you. What about the next one? Nikita? When Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, invented a new computer operating system, he made million dollars. Sorry, let's have a look at this. I think there's a bit more. Yeah. Uh, the founder of Microsoft, what, what did we say? Sorry, I didn't catch it. In invented. Invented. Or, what else could we say? Hmm. I don't know. Starts with P. Uh, but then. Yes, yeah, we can use that as a as a uh, verb as well. Patent. Patent. Patent it. This is how you would spell it. Okay. So patented. A patent can be a noun, uh, but to patent something can also be a verb. Yeah. In this case. Mm, okay. So we can say he invented or patented a new computer operating system. All right, thank you. Stas, three. Many researchers all over the world are trying to find the cure for cancer. Very good. Yeah, many researchers. Yeah, okay. Uh, th uh, four. Pavel. <clears throat> A wheelchair is a device used by people who cannot walk. Excellent. It's a device. Yeah. And the last one, Lydia. Roberto uh, speaks French, English, Italian, and Spanish. He is, uh, he is ex expert. Good. He is an he, expert. He is an expert in languages. Excellent. He's an expert in languages. Very good. Um, okay, that was really well done, guys. I will uh, share this PDF with you shortly until I find it. And then you can save it to your computer. Are there any questions? No. Well, we learned so something, didn't we? Um, that's really good. Um, okay, so there you have it. I uh, hope you can open that link. <clears throat> Very nice to see you guys. Um, I hope uh, you have a wonderful day, and I shall see you in the evening. Yeah. Most of you. <laughs> All right. See you, have a good day, guys. Goodbye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, thank you. Bye.